I told you I'll make a couple of examples of the automation of math skills. And the first example is if I ask you which amount has more circles, the one on the left or the one on the right. I guess most of you in this webinar will immediately know that on the right hand side, there are more circles, right? It's actually 24 and 57 circles. But if I ask you, how does your brain solve this problem? How does your brain determine that there are more circles on the right hand side? Who can answer this? Who knows how the brain solves this problem? I assume all but in, almost nobody knows how the brain does this, right? It's automated by the brain to solve tasks like this. Also, if I ask you what's seven plus five, what's seven plus five? I think everybody knows it's 12, but you don't do seven plus three is 10, five minus three is two, 10 plus two is 12, so 12 is the result. You just know by heart. You learned this as a math, as a math fact, you save this as a fact. If I ask you what's 11 times 10, 11 times 10, I assume that most of you, as soon as I say 11, see a one one. So if I provide a number word, I say 11, you immediately convert it to an Arabic representation as one one. And when I say times 10, I assume most of you visually add the zero to the 11 you just imagined. And that's how you get to 110. So I present the task verbally. You immediately convert it to an Arabic visual representation, and then you add or solve the task uh, visually for you by adding the zero. So besides automating these different arithmetic functions, you also automate switching between the different representation of numbers. So again, I said 11, right? There is immediately for you some kind of feeling that 11 is this quantity of stars. You immediately know that 11 can depict it as one one in digital in uh, digits. And you also have an immediate understanding that 11 is slightly larger than 10, but smaller than 20. So you also, as experienced masters, immediately know how to place this 11 on the number range, on the number line, how to relate it to other numbers. The first time or the first model that explained this um, equivalency of the number representations and how also the brain can handle them or stores them uh, was provided or described by De Haney roughly 30 years ago in his so-called triple code model. And he described that numbers can be presented auditorily or verbally. They can be represented as analog magnitudes and they can be represented in a visual Arabic number form. And different brain areas automate these three different um, models. And besides automating the representations, these brain areas also support other functions, like for example, the auditory, Verbal um, area also supports remembering arithmetic facts, like the seven plus five I made before, uh, I made as an example before, is stored in the same area that processes the verbal number, the verbal numbers. This brain area that performs analog magnitude um, recognition also supports comparison and estimation. And the visual Arabic uh, number form or the module that pro processes visual Arabic number form also allows you um, to, to calculate exactly and, for example, define even and uneven. That was first described by De Haney 30 years ago, and his model was later defined, for example, by uh, von Oster and Shalef in, in 2007. And they figured out or explained how these different representations are automated over time by the brain. What we are most likely born with is a, the core competence of understanding magnitudes. Already three week or three months old babies can distinguish smaller and larger amounts. They can also distinguish, for example, two teddy bears and five teddy bears, right? So we're probably or very likely born with this core competence of telling amounts apart. Then in preschool, we learn the verbal representation. We learn to call two dots two and five, 
five. And in school, we later learn how to write two and five as numbers. We learn how to write 17. We learn how to write a thousand, etc. And the last representation that we learn and that our brain automates is the mental number line. These different um, representations are automated in different brain regions, in parietal regions. Here in this orange color, we automate the number words. In the left, um, sorry, in, in, in the visual cortex, we automate the Arabic numbers. And in occipital um, areas, we automate first the system of magnitude and then the mental number line. 